Hey, I think it's time we address the fact that those menu items in the nav bar don't actually go anywhere, nor do the buttons. They don't kind of lead you anywhere. They don't take you to the contact form. They don't take you to another section, anything like that. So let's kind of address that, okay? Let's start putting in anchors so that when you click these items, they go down the page to another area. Now, I am not going to add in a anchor to return to top because that I'll do in a later video. But for now, I'm just going to show you how the anchors work. So let's start to define where we put them. Because I'm not doing a return to top, I don't need to put one in the hero section. The logo section, well, we don't really need one there. We have the detail section. Now, we could do one there maybe for details. We got the mock-up, so this could be to our portfolio maybe. Um, we got our services, we got a review, and we got our team. Now, I personally am only going to put it on the details, the mock-up, um, the services, and the team and the contact section, okay? You would obviously have thought about this a little bit more in terms of how it's working. So let's just go to the details section. Now, this is a lot easier than you might think. You don't actually have, the, by the way, if you go over to the element and you type in anchor, you're not going to get anything, okay? So it's not how you might do it in other page builders. I'm on the details section, okay? I'm going to go to my style and I'm going to go to CSS. Don't worry, you're not having to put in any funky code here. Scroll down until you get to the CSS ID. I'm going to call this one details, okay? Um, please make a note of how you write this, okay? Because the uppercase, lowercase matters. So I've gone for details in lowercase, right? Pretty simple so far. I'm now going to go over to my hero section over here. We're going to trigger the action to scroll to that anchor using the learn with us. Um, I mean, I could have called this about us or what do we do or, you know, anything like that. But let's just pretend this was the right terminology, learn with us to get to that details section, okay? Over here, you have the option for internal, post page, external, and lots of other things. Now, there are two ways to do this. Number one, you do not need the internal post page because that's going to only allow you to go to the pages or whatever you've created, okay? You don't do that. The two options you can use are external URL, and you could then pop into here the URL, and then you would have backslash at the end, and then you would put in a hashtag and type in details like that. That's one way you could do it. And that would now take you to that menu anchor. Of course, you could also take it to another page, uh, forward slash, backslash, whatever you want to call it, hashtag details, right? You could do that. The way I would do it, and I think lots of people would do it this way as well, is I would actually pick dynamic data. And down here, all I'm going to do is type in hashtag details like that. OK, because it's on the same page. It's not going to another external page. Let us now save that. So if I now click on this button, whoop, it scrolls down. That's how easy and simple it was. But I want to go a step further, OK? Let's just go back over here. It's all lovely, nice and well that I've done that. But I haven't actually like got any title over here to say details or anything. Do I need to do that? I think I can get away with not doing that because it's just like a scrolling website. But when I get to sections like down here with the portfolio, do I want to add the word in portfolio? Now, if you did, and by the way, you don't have to do this, but I just want to demonstrate something that um, there's a reason why I've done a section container everywhere. Section container, section container. Here's the reason why. In fact, let's skip the portfolio one and let us go to uh, let us go to our services section down here. Let me just minimize all of these. By the way, I should have just clicked this symbol over here, okay? Sometimes I forget about it, but you could have just clicked that symbol to expand and collapse all of them. If I go to my services one, okay, this is a, well, it's a container that contains three blocks, but it's a service section and it's got container. I am going to click on the section and I am going to click a heading like that. I'm now going to move the heading to sit above the container like that. Can you now see why I went down the rogue way of putting in my container? Because now I've got this heading, all right? I can go in and apply one of these styles, maybe. Like we can go for the main heading and I might go, ah, you know what, let's just make it be a, oh, oops, let's get rid of the yellow. Remember, get rid of the yellow, otherwise you're touching all of them. Let's make that be a black, for instance, like that. Give it about 40 from the bottom there. And I could do that on every other section I want as well. So there's a reason why 
Because some people have picked up on this in comments, and I've said to them, "Look, don't worry. There's a there's a there's a reason why I'm doing it. If I had not done that, I would then have to rearrange my items uh, sometimes. I mean, if there was only one container." or you only had items in a column, you could just add it in above and you'd be fine. But if you were doing like multiple containers or blocks within it, having that facility to just drop something in outside of the container, which is perfectly fine. Look, section, heading, and then we get to the container that contains the three blocks, is perfectly okay and fine to do. So you could replicate that and do that. For instance, look, if I was to just copy this now and go over to the uh, team section, and let me just paste it in there, Okay, uh, we'll just undo that, move it over to there. So now we have that there and we can just change this to say our team. I can now put the class name there. And then it will take us to that section uh, when it's scrolling. I mean, I would say have a think. Do you want it to go to the section or do you want it to go to the heading? Or do you want it to go to the container? Or do you want it to go to the team member? As once you put in a class name, it will go wherever you want. And what I love about this is before, if you had a menu anchor widget, it would only go to the menu anchor and it was a bit fiddly if you wanted it to go to a particular item. Here, I can go wherever I want. What I'm now going to do is just very quickly define my areas for where I want it to go to. We've already done the detail. Uh, the mockups, I'm actually going to leave that one out for now. I mean, you might have done it as a portfolio, but I'm just going to skip that. I'm going to go to services. We're going to go down to the style. And I'm going to call this one uh, services in lowercase so I know where it goes. I'm not going to do one for review. And I'm going to go down to team. We'll do one for there as well. We'll call it team. And we'll go to contact and do one there as well. This is just quick and easy, right? Quick and easy. Let's now go back to our hero section. Click on this button. Go to content. Go to our link. We're going to go with a dynamic one. And we're going to say that this will go to our services. And then the next button I've got is down here. And I will make that one be dynamic data as well. And this one will now go to our contacts like that. And I'm pretty sure they were, oh no, we also have these buttons here. This button is dynamic as well and it goes to contact. And then you would replicate that for those as well down there. And I now hit learn with us. It's gonna to go to the learn with us. I mean, this is where the return to top would be good, but we're covering that in a later video. We can build it. it, takes us down to services. I mean, if I hit that, it's gonna take us down to contact. If I go back up over here to this button here with make it happen, it takes us down to the contactors section. So you can start to decide on your layout and how you're gonna make this look, um, you know, in terms of do you want it? I mean, if I had put it on contactors, you would not see this space. It would go all the way to the top. Now here's where I feel like having a bit of padding is a good idea because what if you didn't have, now I've got a sticky header, right? But the header scrolls away. What if your header did not scroll away and it now went to the word services? The word services might be hidden behind your header, okay? So you've got to have a think about your layout and how you're making things look. Um, okay, that's all fine. But what about our nav menu? We haven't even addressed that yet. Okay, it's really, really simple and easy. Let's hit the bricks menu like this, okay? Now I'm going to go to appearances and I'm going to go over to my menu. Now in our menu, we did add in some fake items over here, like this custom link here. This just takes you to the home page or the top of the page, however you want it. We've also got this about page. Now these are custom links. What I'm going to do is create them from scratch. So I'm just going to copy this URL and I'm going to remove these to remind you of how this was done. So over here with custom link, because I don't have any other pages, I just have the home page. I'm going to click custom link and I'm going to pop in a URL and at the end of it, I'm now going to put in a hashtag. Now, remember, we've got details, um, services, details, services and team and contact, right? So I'm going to go with uh, details or about us even, but I'm going to call it about. No, it's called, D sorry, I'm getting myself mixed up here. The anchor is details, but the word will be um, about about us, all right? I mean, this is quite rubbish because it's not even really an about us section, right? But let's just do that. I'm now gonna create in another one and this time we are gonna go for hashtag uh, services. And this is where you're gonna put in uh, services or what do we do even, you know, what we what do we do, for instance, right? You know, you're keeping it quite simple there. Let's add that to the menu. Let's do the next one, hashtag 
uh, team and I'm going to put the link as the word as our team like that. Add that to the menu and the last one will be contact. And so do hashtag contact and we're just going to put uh, contact us like that. Just change the what do we do to our services because I felt that sounds a little bit like not really that good. So there we go. We've got our kind of menu and now we are going to save it and all we've done is custom links to our menu anchors. So if I now view our page, because it's using the main menu, it automatically changes it, right? And if I hit that, it jumps down to that area. If I scroll back up, you know, services, we're down there. If I scroll up a bit, if we go to team, we're down at the team area. Uh, the contactors, it jumps straight down to the contactors. I mean, that is literally it. I mean, the home's gonna take you all the way to the top, but look, it, it just works, look, make it happen. That is Menu Anchors in its simplicity with Bricks Builder. Imran Web Squadron, like, subscribe, share, and follow. I'll see you soon. Never break, always fight, never quit. Do it right, play the game, win it life. Have no shame, there's no time. Feel the pain, let the grind. I could change in my mind. Pick a lane, commit and climb. The only way to win it life. I never miss that fact. Taking big swings, bitch, hand me the back. Put me in the ring, you'll go out in a bag.